Hey guys, it's me again. Um, that train guy seventy five seventy four. We're gonna be doing a model train video, but I just want to point out something before we start. Um, so I got something two years ago from SDS Models, which is a Australian model train company. Um, and yes, um, if you want to see, I'm just gonna open up the box. It's a Mark One NR class from from SDS Models, painted in the red and white livery. You got other liveries too. Before you do that, so I just got to turn this thing off, then put this all to a side. So then we can get this, so we can get this MK1 Mark 1 in our, in our class running. Um, just want to point out, um, this thing might get a little bit rough sometimes. And there it goes. You'll see it come around in a minute. I'll just put it on. It's not, it's just it's middle speed. Um, then we'll put some carriages on it. And there it is, coming around the bend. There it is. Um, so, about this locomotive, it's really special to me. And we're just going to come and put some carriages on it so it can depart its journey. So let's grab these, um, the old V-line carriages from Oscision. It's it's sometimes a little bit hard when I'm holding the camera with something that I have to record with, and I have to like grab from both ends to do this. Then I have to do this, just pull that out from both ends. So these are the old V-line carriages from maybe the 1990s to, no, from 1980 to 1990. But then these, the, then these were changed into sheep bogies back in the 2000s so they could, so they could grab cattle and ship, ship them off to other places in the world. Um... It's actually pretty sad that these are gone. Um, the Oscision has, and I just want to point out that Oscision does still have these in stock. Um, but like a short amount, so they just have a short amount of supply left. Now I've got to get that out of the way so we can do this. Now, um, these things are, if you see on the box, these are, if I can get the camera right, um, these are WGX open wagons. These are large logo, um, as built, and a pack D. The pack is D. And, um, I got this from my local train shop, um, for only 75 bucks. But on the page, um, it is about, let's just say, 198 bucks. But these were welded, so we got them for a lower price. So then they were just a lower price. Sometimes it's really hard with a camera. Oh, God. I'm just going to have to sit you right up here so you can see. And there we go. Um, now, I have to grab from all the ends, so then I can just open it. So, there's the frame. Then, here's... These were actually 
I don't know if I mentioned this, but these were used around in like the 70s into the 90s too. Um, and pretty much these these have the exact same um, type of coupling as the um, as the old V-line carriages. Um, if I just want to say that. Um, this is only going to be like a 10 minute video because I'm go I have to show you another model of mine and it's from it's it's from the same year too but of when I got my NR Mark 1 um then I'll bring out another thing which will add to my train and it's from the exact same company that I got these from these um steel wagons from um put that to a side too um it is a guard van from sds um these were used around in maybe the mid maybe 50s or so or maybe even um 80s to the 2000s because freight trains in australia needed them just in case um just in case that um the train like was say like the brakes were broken or something it's just it's so hard if i have to carry a camera around there so now we can unbox it um so you can get these off SDS models too. They will set you back a hundred and twenty-five dollars. Um, that's actually a good price because these actually have working lights too. Oh, accidentally dropped it. Now, for now, you have to make sure that the wheels are on properly. Otherwise, they're going to just derail. Okay, now I can just show you the whole train now. I actually have a other few rolling stocks, but um, I decide not to because their maximum radius of curves is 22. And I have another one which can fit these radius of curves. Um, so, yeah, here's the whole train right now. So we're going to take it for a test run. Oh, wrong way. There it goes. Oops, um, accidentally put it on the wrong way. Let's just speed it up. Yep, to its max speed. And then I'll put it back to its original spot. Yes, if you can see, those are red lights, so that's why it's so expensive. I have other rolling stock, but um, I'll use that for another video in my next videos. In my next video. Oh, one of the... Okay, there. Oh, derailed. See, look, they have red lights, so that's why it's really expensive. Um, don't mind those in the background because those are just my old toys from four years ago. Um, so yeah, that's why this guard van here is just very expensive. Um, yeah, don't mind these because those are just from and that. Those are the old. H HSTs, HSTs, which are in the UK, if you didn't know. Um, so yeah, we have the train coming around the bend. Um, say hi. Um, so yeah, this is just all part of my video. Um, th thank you for watching. Um, I'll see you all in the next video. Say goodbye.
Okay, peace out for another video tomorrow.